Hi, my name's Dennis Donahue. I'm Marine Superintendent for NOAA, uh, operating out of the Great Lakes uh, Environmental Research Lab uh, in, in Ann Arbor, Michigan. All of our vessels are home ported in Muskegon, Michigan. Uh, this year, uh, to, to start a partnership with Michigan Tech, we opted to bring up the RV Storm, which is normally based in Alpena, Michigan. Uh, its primary purpose in Alpena is uh, archaeological work. It has multi-beam sonar, side scan sonar, and is really rigged for dive operations. Uh, we, we spent the last two weeks here with uh, folks from Michigan Tech doing a variety of work, some of it sonar work. Um, and then last, uh, last week we did uh, some optics research, uh, water, um, satellite uh, correlation work uh, with your researchers here at Michigan Tech. Hello, my name is Gary Fonensteel. I'm a research scientist with the Great Lakes Research Center here at Michigan Tech and a faculty member in the Department of Biology, Biological Sciences. Uh, in my former life, I worked as a research scientist for NOAA, the Great Lakes Environmental Research Lab, where I retired just a little over a year ago. And this is NOAA's, one of NOAA's Great Lakes Environmental Research ship, the Storm, um, the mid-sized ship. And we had requested it to come up here to Michigan Tech this year to assist us primarily with a joint monitoring program between Michigan Tech and NOAA. Uh, Michigan Tech um, obviously is in a very strategic location and with the new Great Lakes Research Center has a real renewed focus on Lake Superior. And I can tell you as a former NOAA employee, Glural had a big interest in Lake Superior. So this was just the, the joining of those two institutions for some mutual benefit. So the ship came up here to give us some added capabilities to assist with that joint NOAA-Michigan Tech monitoring program. And that was basically allowing us to sample further uh, out in different places of Lake Superior, make some unique observations, um, do some glider experiments, retrieve some buoys, things we couldn't do with the 37-footer. So this was really um, the focus of the couple weeks up here was just to enhance the activities of the Great Lakes Research Center here at Tech.